y equals zero. And t bumper position dot x will also equal zero. Now for the bottom bumper dot x will equal zero because uh the x on the on the to left and right we want to start at the farthest left side of the screen and then b bumper position dot y be a little more it'll be 768 minus 25 which is the height of our bumper so we want to start in the bottom left corner and and it'll be up 25 because we don't want it to start off the screen we want it to go up 25 pixels so you can actually see the bumper And then what we want to do is come down to our draw, and we'll make a few comments here. Drawing paddles, drawing bumpers, and then for drawing the bumpers, it will be sprite batch dot draw. And then, as you can see, it takes a texture, it takes a destination, and a color. So we're going to draw the top bumper, top bumper in T bumper position with the default color of white. And the same thing for the bottom, so we can just copy this. And go bottom bumper. In the bottom bumper position that we assigned. And that should be about it. Now if we build this we got no errors. It should display our bumpers on the top and bottom of the screen, which it does. It's just some uh, cheesy, easy picture I made with the gray and, and like a dotted yellow line just for the bumpers, and it just gives it a little, uh, little more uh, graphic-wise. Okay, so now that we got our bumpers drawn, the next thing we're going to do is the player input, like I mentioned in the last video, and. We're gonna instead of making like an input class because this game is is basic, uh, we're just gonna do all our um, input uh, functions in the main here in the game one dot cs. So we're gonna come down to the bottom of our game one cs and we're gonna create a function public void. We're just gonna call it player input, And we're going to start out with some if statements. So we're going to make the player one controls, which will be the if statement. The command is if keyboard dot get state p one dot p number that is key down keys w. Um, what I'm going to do is for the player one controls I'm going to just use W and S to go up and down and the player con two controls I'm going to use the up and down arrows so I mean you could have someone sit next to you and play that way <coughs> or you could just do it yourself actually I play this a lot by myself just controlling both players so if uh, the keyboard if the player one P number W key is down which would, we want the, the paddle to move up then the P1 dot position paddle one position dot y is negative or equal to p1 dot speed so it's going to take the position of the paddle on the y-axis which is up and down it's going to subtract it which is going up on the y-axis um, by the speed so whatever we set our paddle speed to it's going to go up every from by 20 I believe we have it set to 20 right now yeah the speed is 20 Then we're going to make an else if, else if, and we can just copy this. Keyboard get state keys S, which would be our down key for player one. Then P1 dot position dot Y is plus or equal to P1 dot speed. Speed. Let's spip a bed. 
So right now, um, the way it is, if we go to our update, you can make a comment here, player controls, and we just um, just call call the function player input. This should update our P1 paddle. We haven't set the player 2 paddles yet, but we do have the controls for the player 1 paddles. So let's give this a run. Build, make sure we don't have any errors. And a run. So I push Y, it's going to go off the screen. We do have to set that up because we don't have player 1 updating yet. We didn't call that function. So it's, it's not taking anything from the paddle class in the update function. So it doesn't know to stop at the top and bottom bumpers. So we can add that in here real quick. P1.update. That will update, that will call the function in here, which will keep the paddle within bounds. Now if we build and run, when we hit W and S, it should stop at the top and bottom. Okay. Let's set up our player two. And you know what? We can just copy all this, come down, comment player two controls, paste it in, and we want our player two. P number is key down, and I believe it's just up, up, then position Y. P2 speed, else if P2 P number, just change all the P1s to P2s and your keys, which this one will be down, P2 position, plus or equal to P2 dot speed. So now we have our player 2 controls. And don't forget to do our update, because we're updating to player 1, we want to update player 2 as well. So that is basically all we need for our controls for our paddles. We'll just comment this real quick. And we'll run this. So if I push W, it will bring our player one paddle up. If I push S, it'll bring our player one paddle down. And just on the other side, if I hit the up arrow, it will bring our player two paddle up. If I hit the down arrow, it'll bring it down. So you notice how you can, you realize you can start playing by yourself here. And that's about it for this tutorial. Um, the next one I want to cover, uh, setting up our ball class. Uh, that'll be a little lengthy just because of the update function controlling uh, what it bounces off and then uh, we'll create also our collision uh, functions for when the ball hits the paddles um, and with that you know I'd really appreciate a like um, if you want to see the rest of these go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you all next time